I've been going too hard. Yeah. I've been going too hard. Yeah. I've been going too hard. Any given bars hosted by Jay Wells, powered by Emblem. This young mug, and today I got San Jose's very own Kung Fu Vampire. How you feeling? I'm good. I dress for outdoor weather, so I'm feeling hella good. It's cozy in here. Yeah. That shit was lit. So how does it feel to be a vampire? Man, I'm the oldest rapper ever of all time. Been around a couple hundred years. So, you know, it's fun seeing everything. It just sucks when all your friends die, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, we're gonna make new friends. So how long you been doing music? Man, I started at 14. Started this Kung Fu Vampire thing as a teenager. Never took a day off since. So I was doing drums in, uh, in uh, high school and junior high. I actually got kicked out of, the, out of the band freshman year, like a couple months in. Got kicked out of the high school band. Was a big, pretty big uh, ordeal, actually. Uh, got expelled and then let back in. So... Um, and been rapping ever since. Yeah. Say, fuck this shit. Fuck the um, teacher telling me what to do. I'm gonna make my own shit. That's basically how it went down. So how has COVID affected your uh, 2021? Um, this is the first year, 2020 and 2021 are the first years I've not toured ever in my whole life. Not done a single show. Haven't even been on a stage, nothing. But I've recorded a lot more music, got a lot of ideas formulating. And now when we get back out this spring, whole new stage show, lots of new songs, new singles, things like that. But we did hit the charts right before COVID with the uh, Come Dawn album. And then uh, I released my first um, like uh, collaborative album, Double Dragon. And that did really well. Yeah. So a lot Who's more, more recording. that one with? It's an OG rapper Buckshot out of Kentucky. Yeah. Super cool, man. We, we uh, I don't know if you saw the merch, bro, but it's pretty ridiculous. We did a whole like merch box with jerseys and all that so yeah i remember that yeah okay okay so that's so what's, what's your plans for 2022 then we hit, we're gonna hit the road first tour in two years um april and then my album actually i've been working on this album i'm gonna be in the studio tomorrow you can come up be in oakland um it's called black heart machine black heart machine the black heart machine okay and it's just you know what it's really about how everything is just not people are not how they seem everybody's cold everybody's just robotic everybody's just facing the phone everybody's just you know watching people die and then on to the next you know what i mean so <clears throat> this album's a reflection of the covid times although i don't do songs about the pandemic and shit i'm yeah. trying to avoid that but yeah so that's valentine's day release then we're gonna February hit the road 14th, February 14th. Yeah, okay. yeah black heart machine black heart yeah, machine sure look for that what about uh, on tour? What's your craziest experience on tour? I'm asking X-rated questions. Yeah, you know, the fans can know. <laughs> um, shit, man. I'm going to say the most positive. Some of the most positive things actually was, um, damn, you know what? We had a kid from the very back, like, like at the Warfield size venue. This kid started crowd surfing from the back. I want to say like 100 feet from the back. They carried him all the way to the front perfectly. And right when he got to the stage, he hit his head on the monitor. His head was bleeding. He was just excited. He got on stage. This dude's head's bleeding. He's just like, yeah. He went to try and hug me. And I went to hug him back in security. Grabbed him like, no, it's all good. It's all good. And then he wanted me to throw him in the crowd. So basically he ran. I threw him in the crowd. He surfed all the way back to the back. I mean, this shit was like pretty wild man 140 pound kid but he made it all the way front to back head bleeding he didn't even care so that was one of the craziest experiences yeah yeah what about your merch how you come up with your merch tell me about your uh you was talking about jerseys i know you came up with another yeah, jersey yeah. too um i love the merch game man like i learned from some of the best just watching people you know that i grew up watching and uh i always try to step it up you know what i mean not trying to do any cheap t-shirts i want everything to be like you know, high-end material, stuff that's comfortable, and uh, try to keep it, like, all over print. You know, we're doing the um, sublimated hoodies, sublimated jerseys. Um, everything's at kungfuvampire.com. Just like to keep elevating in the quality, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
And uh, I'm just blessed to have like a worldwide fan base that buys and supports, you know what I mean? It's just, it's, I'm grateful. Yeah. You know? I know you've been on the team backpack too, right? And you've been on the other ciphers. What do you like doing better, the gassing like this or making a song? I mean, it's always kind of better to be around people and doing stuff, you know, like this, spur of the moment, kind of unrehearsed, people around watching. You don't know what you're walking into. For me, that's fun. I like walking into shit. I don't know what to expect. I didn't know if today was outside, inside, who was here, two people, 20 people. I like that. Um, making a song is cool, but to me, my music's so important to me and it's forever that I'm always very like particular, nervous, because that song's forever going to be heard. So there's an element of like uneasy. Yeah. And then you just got to own it and let it be. So, you know, I like sporadic stuff i like live performance that's my favorite thing okay okay yeah, yeah your life should go crazy live performance man okay so how can the fans find you everything's at kung fu vampire k-u-n-g-f-u vampire um instagram is the best i post the most there uh, follow me on instagram i'm actually my facebook i think it has a hundred and something thousand fans i'm always active if you want to talk shit or you want personal questions answered you just hit me on twitter at kung fu vampire and if you want merch KungFuVampire.com. KungFuVampire.com. You know what it is. Any given bars. Hosted by Jay Wells. Powered by Emblem. Smoking on this aviation by Airfield Supply. Subscribe below. Every Friday, 5 p.m. You know what we do. It's the Emblem exclusive. Come on. Yeah. Hell yeah. Appreciate you sliding.